heading south here on some little county road, heading back to the apartments from that the little portable buildings. Well, they wanted eight grand for that one. We had nothing inside, so you gotta figure those things are pretty high. You can do it yourself with a concrete pad. I built a 32 by a 24 by 32 garage. I built two garages. One I made into it was 24 by 24. I made it into a house. Mom and I in Texas we lived in it for we lived in that thing for two and a half, three years, and then we came north, and then I built the garage in Besner at that house we had bought, and it was a 24 by 32, and the whole garage kit was five grand, and that was back in 93, so we don't have that no more, you know, you don't have prices like that no more, but but I don't know what you do. You can get a Menard building bigger than that and build it yourself. You don't have to. The only thing is, you got to figure that you spend a thousand dollars a month rent. That money's forever gone. <clears throat> You'll never get it back. It's wasted. You live there, but it's still wasted money. It's like you're. You're going to the casino and just having a nice old time and losing your butt. But anyway, I don't know. It's still early in the spring, the 10th of March. And uh, tomorrow's inspection on the apartment, so <laughs> we may be looking for a portable building sooner than we think. So anyway, just thinking, if I quit, then I'm done, so I'm going to try to keep going, and I don't know, that's the best thing to do anymore. I'm heading back now to the apartment building, our apartment, sir. Two bedroom with what I have. Uh, all your only thing you pay is is electric bill, which is cheap. That place over there, that big place, is uh, really fancy. Uh, the cheapest they got there for a one bedroom is twenty one hundred a month. So those people got to have big bucks to live there. You got to have big bucks to live where I live, but I don't have it. But I guess Clyde and Elvin must have something because I find it in the checking account. They're both sick. I tell you what's the matter with these puppies. They got haircuts last Friday. It's five days ago. They have not recovered from that that's cruel. They must really treat them bad because that woman over there, I ain't going back there no more. I told them to leave at least an inch of hair on their back because of weather. She cut them right down to the skin. They got a hot summer haircut. And them little boys, you can, they go outside and they, they start to shiver if I put their coat on up in the apartment. They start to shiver. And they haven't ate right and sick. And uh, they're still like that. They don't even want to go in the car. They used to always love to go in the car. They hate the car now. Elvie just, he's just like, he's, I'm putting him in that doggone place where they cut hair. Well, I'm going through the roundabout here. So we'll go through it.
Hope we don't get clobbered here. I guess there's been one wreck here since this was built. Now we're on the Industrial Boulevard, about ready to crank her north on Pleasant Avenue. And I got this trailer now, so there ain't no more letting the the car's got to stay out. It's supposed to snow today and tonight. I don't know what we'll get. The car's got to stay out because I have no, I can't get the, they can't leave the trailer out. If somebody'd steal it and, and she'd raise holy dickens if you left it in a parking stall. So I'll just leave the car out. I have to sweep the snow off of it. That's about all I can do, and here's Ed. Hey, Ed! Hey. How you doing? I'm all right. You get all your... what you out pots and pans. You bought some? No, uh, Penny bought a new set, so I don't know if I should take these down to ARP or not. Oh, you can throw them in here. I'll drop them off there. They're not too bad. Yeah, throw them in here. I'll get them tomorrow, Ed. Just leave them inside your garage there. Yeah, I'm going to leave them in here. Yeah, I'll leave them there. I'm going to take a bunch of my clothes over there and dump them off. Oh, well, you can take this. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. They got covers and everything. Okay. What'd but she buy? What kind? Don't, don't take my basket. Okay, I'll see you later, Ed. All right. Uh, I got him on camera. 